so my car smells like a cat spraying on the door outside. It's pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie to you. I think we gotta get rid of all the stray cats. <laughs> they know not that the band, not the band, not the band. <laughs> they know that Eddie and Sammy live in the house, so they come by and spray on everything. Brian not Sensor. my car, though. <laughs> Brian Sensor. Peeing on my car. <laughs> the great hunt for pumpkin beer continues. No pumpkin beer yet. So we hit Total Wine during the week and we hit ABC and they're both selling us way too early. Although this time last year is when we started picking up uh, at least a few different types. So I don't know if it's a little delayed or what, but nothing yet. We did get a bunch of different craft beer, just single cans to try them out, as well as a Walking Dead beer and a Clutch beer. Looking forward to that. And if I'm not saying to do 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 while we're pouring that beer, <laughs> I have failed. Bye. My favorite store. Just not really. I got what I'm looking for. 20 bucks. The sun is chopping off half my face. When we went to Best Buy, I did pick up Ash vs. Evil Dead, so this is the first season. I'm gonna be able to catch up on this for Halloween Horror Nights because Ash vs. Evil Dead was announced yesterday or revealed as their third house. We talk a bunch about it on the Four Hauntsmen podcast whenever that'll be posted. I think it gets posted probably sometime either Monday or Tuesday so you guys can check that out. And I will be recording again next week as well uh, because I anticipate that there's going to probably be like either a full reveal of the houses um, when the clock finishes ticking down on the Halloween Horror Nights website and it's got until like um, Thursday to do so. Um, so we'll be talking all about Halloween Horror Nights next week. We'll be doing, uh, we'll only be bridging one week instead of two weeks like we normally do. But Ash vs. Evil Dead was announced yesterday. I've never seen the show. I've seen the Evil Dead movies, but I don't have stars, so I haven't been able to watch it. Uh, I'm gonna check this out because the house looks like it's gonna be super fun. It looks really, really fun. How could it not be fun when you have a chainsaw as a hand? Um, and then I also picked up this in line with Halloween Horror Nights. This is Bill and Ted's Most Excellent Collection. I think I probably own these movies about five times now, similar to Star Wars and Indiana Jones. We just keep buying these movies over and over again. Uh, but this collection ends up coming with a couple of bumper stickers, uh, Wild Stallions, Guitar Pick, and uh, some new interviews with Alex Winter and Keanu Reeves. And uh, Bill and Ted's bogus journey just celebrated an anniversary the other day um, I think it might have been like 25 years I'm not sure but that is one of my favorite movies I like it better than the original movie um, I love the death character and I know that at San Diego comic-con they had uh, a collectible figure of death from the uh, NECA folks I believe if you guys are interested in seeing all about what was at San Diego Comic-Con and the different vendors, you should check out one of our friends, Cool Duder. He's uh, really awesome. He went out to San Diego Comic-Con all of the days, I believe. And we'll put a link to his channel up here or down here. And you guys can check it out because I think that he had picked up the figure of death. Staying on the topic of Halloween Horror Nights for just one more moment, the shirt that I'm wearing that is inspired by Halloween Horror Nights, it's uh, Jack's Carnage Crunch. It's a design from Shelby Denim. You can get this shirt as well at Shelby's Spreadshirt store. She has shirts uh, with Jack, with the director, and I think with Lady Luck. Pretty sure. But her designs are awesome, as you guys have seen. I think everybody has been clamoring for her prints of the Halloween Horror Nights icons. The shirts are in the store. You can wear this proudly. Order it now. It'll be getting to your house way in time to wear for Halloween Horror Nights. And now, I sit in the parking lot while Mary and Jess go off to Ulta. I buy beer and movies, and these guys are going to go buy uh, makeup. Yep. Dinner at Goodfellas? Certainly. It's Manigault. Woo! One hour later, yeah. I am stuffed. Completely. <sighs> Fruit coma. I like the way Jesse sits in the back. Like she's just like an evil commanding lord in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> just gonna tell us. <coughs> you must go here. Yeah. I'm not gonna die too. 
It's Miracle Car Wash. I wonder if it runs on magnets. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, back in the den, charging batteries, getting cameras ready, all that kind of good stuff. We are going to head over to Florida Supercon tomorrow, um, but by the time you watch this video, it'll probably be yesterday. We've never been to Florida Supercon. It's down um, towards Miami. It's in Broward County, Fort Lauderdale. Um, my understanding is it's a very big convention, but we're going to be in the area anyway, so we figured let's make it an extra day and hit the Supercon. But getting back to tonight, we started the night over at ABC. I picked up this bottle of new Belgian Lips of Faith series Clutch Wood Aged Imperial Sour Stout. Bam. I can't imagine the band Clutch uh, putting out a beer. Nonetheless, a uh, new Belgium beer. Uh, we've seen Clutch a lot, and they're kind of like a PBR brand. And like no frills, if you're not familiar with Clutch, no frills, straight ahead rock and roll, basically like t shirt, jeans type of thing, jam band, rock and roll, heavy metal. Um, they're awesome, but this mm, strikes me weird. We're going to open it up and test it out. Uh, I've poured like this super pint here. It smells good. Wow, it is sour. Um, I'm not sure if I've ever had a sour stout before. Well, you can really taste it. It's like stout meets Sour Patch Kids. I think I'm not a very big fan of this, but I think the big thing is it is a stout. It doesn't necessarily taste like a stout. It tastes very sweet, but sour. You know, very much like Sour Patch, where it's like sweet and sour together. Try one more. Wow. It is different. I don't know if I would recommend this beer. If uh, if you're not a fan of the band, I might stay away from it. It is 8.5 percentage um, by volume, and this is 1.6 ounces, the, the bottle. Um, I basically wanted to keep the bottle, too, to display it. Maybe have the guys sign it when they come back around in town again. I don't necessarily think the beer fits their image, and um, I didn't think it was particularly that good. A couple last things that have been bouncing around my head because of uh, Star Wars news recently and spent a lot of time checking out stuff around Last Jedi. Um, one is the, one of the Toys R Us stores and you know they're having their their usual Force Friday sales event that comes out in September and that's where the stores open up at midnight and they sell all the toys from the new movie that are coming out. Um, the one for Last, the, sorry the one for The Force Awakens I thought was pretty good. The one for Rogue One, not so good. Um, they're going to have another Force Friday this year, but some of the toys already in July started hitting shelves inadvertently. So um, the big thing about that is that these, you know, obviously like people like Hasbro and the, you know, the toy makers and the people that have the high end licenses, etc., all have non-disclosure agreements so that you're not supposed to be able to release to the public the images that are in the movie that is coming out. So as collectors, you're able to sometimes see into what is, uh, you know, ahead in the movie. And that's already happened, I believe, twice already now. The other thing is that a photo shoot just took place, and I think it was for GQ. It was either GQ or, Ro or Vogue or one of those things, but um, a whole bunch of um, kind of like standalone stills uh, that were shot for the movies. A really cool picture of Adam Driver as Kylo Ren, where you can see the scar on his face and you know full body shot um, looks really cool um, Mark Hamill as as Luke and he's kind of got his Jedi gear on but it's gray which kind of as a Star Wars fan um, you know without having to explain too much gets people excited because he's a gray Jedi in the pictures or appears to be you never know um, and then there's this picture of Snoke and Snoke was this big question mark in the last movie because we only saw like this holographic projection of him that made him look huge and everybody's question, who is Snoke? 
Last Jedi has been promised to have more shocking reveals in it, more than even like Empire Strikes Back did, um, and the, the the prior movies. And you know that's kind of like the sell point. And I think folks have been guessing for the last year exactly who Snoke is, etc. You know, pictures of Snoke kind of tie into what uh, Lucasfilm and Disney has been saying all along, and that Snoke is Snoke, and he's not somebody else, and you know, it is what it is. But there's a fan theory out there that's been shared uh, from Reddit, and I don't consider this much of a spoiler because I think it's more speculation at this point. Um, but saying that Snoke, if you look at the word, it's kind of a made-up word, but the root is uh, snook, which is kind of like snookering, which is kind of like baiting and switching, or red herring, or things that are, you know appear to be something else, but they're not. And the, the fan theory is that although we think that maybe Snoke is controlling everything, that maybe Snoke is a puppet, and the real Sith Lord Master would be Luke. Um, and in turn, you have, um, you know, Kylo Ren obviously uh, eventually turning to the light side or the good side to, to fight with Rey. Which kind of ties into uh, what I kind of envisioned when we, they released that behind the scenes piece where uh, Rey is fighting multiple people and uh, Kylo Ren's fighting multiple people and their, their uh, warm ups for their battle scenes, etc. Maybe the two of them do link up together. It, you know, if anything, I try to stay away from any spoilers. So if you know spoilers and things like that, I don't want to hear them. Um, but this one particular thing kind of jumped out as just, you know, the theory that's out there. Because I think everyone's throwing out these Snoke theories. And it's intriguing. Um, and it's intriguing, you know, because I think it does kind of dovetail or fit in with what I was thinking along um, as well. But um, I'm, now I'm starting to actually feel anxious for this movie to come out. And we've got another... Um, four more months four and a half more months for the, the film to come out so hype level is intensifying but that's basically all i've got to talk about tonight i have got to get to sleep in a couple of minutes and it's only a little after 10 and i'm going to be the bummer for the night uh and didn't go out i did plan on going to one of the parks tonight and then of course when i went to leave it was pouring outside and that's why we ended up doing what we did and i'm happy with doing what we did so it'll get me to bed wake up super long drive so when we head out to supercon it's like almost a four hour drive to get over that way and um want to get on the road as early as possible so on that note thank you very much for watching thank you for all of your likes thank you for your comments thank you for your subscriptions treat others the way you want to be treated have a great night we'll see you guys